Hey y'all, it's Professor Johnson. We are at week four and I have new hair. <laughs> you probably gonna see this hair the rest of the semester though. Uh, it may be different style, but uh, I'm on braids now for the winter time. Okay, all right, we're week four, promoting customer value. And this week is interesting because we're going to tackle uh, this material a little bit different. Like so far you've been, everything you've been reading, the lecture has completely um, just reiterated what we're reading. Uh, this, with this module, in an eight-week class, uh, there's there's more things that we need to cover in this promoting value, right? So uh, the reading uh, peak portion that you're going to do is going to be talking about the importance of the global marketplace and the fashion uh, for fashion marketers and micro environments for fashion um, organizations and just how they influence our goals and um, just how we make decision making and pricing, which is really important, right? We're going to talk about that uh, in the reading. The lecture is going to cover a little bit uh, of that uh, creating customer value, but in a different manner. So the lecture, I'm really focusing on focusing on creativity and using that creativity to create value, right? Um, so again, I told you this is gonna be a, more like a social media marketing class, um, but it's really important that you understand the steps that it takes in being creative, right? And you're thinking, I'm creative, Professor Johnson, right? But remember, last assignment I gave you, I made you sketch out your thing first, right? So. This will give you some more tools to put into your tool, toolbox to uh, talk about creativity. So you'll find about the W's and an, there's an H in there too. Um, you'll find it about those as well. So we'll talk about uh, creativity and creating value, creating digital messaging and storytelling, right? It's really important that your brand or your content, right? If you're just a content creator, not just a content creator, if you're a content creator or a brand, it's really important that you... Um, understand how to craft stories that are compelling, right? So, you know, the assignments that I'm giving you are to create posts, but I don't want you to just create a post. I want you to create things that are engaging, right? Um, that are exciting, that draw people in. I want you to think about someone that you follow and the first post that got you, right? So there's a brand, uh, there's a brand that I follow. She's here in California, local, local brand is called J Lux. I mean, she's worldwide, but she's, she's, it's in California. Um, and long story short, I got an opportunity to meet the owner uh, and uh, she ended up doing a, a little mini interview with me and she asked me, how did we find the brand? And I told her, I said, you found me. <laughs> you, the brand found me on Instagram. I said, the first one was some sponsor. I'm sure it was some sponsored ad or something that popped up. I said, but that from that first click, I was buying stuff from you and I'm deep in, I'm years into it now. So, um, so yeah, so digital storytelling, really, really important. Okay. So those are the things that you're going to, um, that you're going to cover in this module. So week four, you know what to do. Okay. So after you get off this page, go ahead and do the assigned reading. Like I said, the reading is uh, the reading and the lecture material, um, uh, complement each other, but they're not the exact same material. So you, you have two chapters to read, uh, in, in the textbook that we're using, jump into the lecture, dive into the discussion board, complete your meta assignment, and then catch me on the other side, okay? I'm so far, I'm excited. I'm, I'm not excited, pleasantly surprised. I'm always amazed at the students uh, and, and their, their presence in their life on social media. So I'm excited to see how you're gonna continue to grow. Now, oh, the other thing I wanted to say, on the syllabus, the syllabus um, says that you have an exam in week four. Technically, you should have an exam in week four, but I want us to, I would have had to open the exam and this module at the same time, and I didn't want to do that because the the question, some of the questions in the exam are from this module. So what I'm going to do is, is um, I'm going to push the exam back a week. So in week five, you will take an exam that will cover the materials from week two, three, and four, uh, and then week five, you'll be covering new materials. So my suggestion would be take the exam first before you dive into new materials so you don't you know put in and take out at the same time, okay? So that's why I didn't want to overwhelm you with this because you would have had to complete your exam before the all the assignments of the module were done so I, I just, i'm just gonna push that back week okay all right if you have any questions you know what to do <laughs> see ya